Hello and welcome to Indie Cigar Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Gurkha Legend Vintage 2001. This is a Perfecto cigar with a extensively aged broad leaf Maduro wrapper. This is aged from, as the label suggests, 2001. Very good cigar. It contains Cuban seed long filler. So it has that nice, spicy, smooth Cuban taste. Minus the embargo, of course, sadly. I can't wait till that thing's actually lifted. But, either way, good cigar. Um, as you can see, the foot smokes a great deal. I'm not sure if you can actually see that or not, but it produces more smoke than the actual cigar does. But the actual end produces a pretty good chunk of smoke, too. Very smooth, has a light pepperness to it. Before that though, I want to speak about the wrapper. The wrapper is, from what I can tell, almost flawless. The seams are clearly visible, but very tight. There's a few veins, but really not much at all. There's a nice, I don't necessarily call it a sheen too, it's almost like a sparkle to the wrapper. Just, it hits the, it hits, it hits the light quite well and yeah, it kind of just shines. It's very interesting. Either way, I will come back to you at the first third. We're chugging along nicely with a almost razor sharp burn. Not quite, but almost. For the Gurkha Legend Vintage 2001 Imperfecto. So I shall speak to you shortly. Alright, we are back of the Gurkha Legend Perfecto. Or excuse me, Gurkha Legend 2001 Perfecto. I'm sure, the vintage 2001 part's important. It is kind of the foundation of the cigar. So, when I first took this up, it didn't quite dawn on me how far 2001 it was. Now I'm 24, so minus almost 12 years, I was just a little kid. So I was thinking about that, and I was like, wow, it's actually a really old cigar. And you can taste the age. This is a fantastic cigar. Very smooth. Um, has a minor coffee sweetened flavor to it. Mostly just, just tobacco though. That same barnyard flavor. Earthy texture to them. Very solid smoke. Very solid cigar. And I love this wrapper. There's a lot of the times, or bands, excuse me. A lot of the Gurkha ones are pretty much the same thing, but this little brown in the background and little accents to it just really sets it off. The burn is not even, but it doesn't really need any touch-ups yet either. It's gone pretty bad a few times, then it's fixed itself up, so it should do that again and keep up with that excellent performance. So I will come back to you at the halfway point, which will be this first band, because the band is very high up. And then probably once more before, probably about right here. And then once more at the actual nub of the cigar. This is the Gurkha Vintage 2001 Legend Edition. And this is a uh, Anabasario, which is the Perfecto Edition. But yeah, chances are for watching this review, you already know that. So I'm kind of just talking to myself now. Speak to you soon. Alright, we are down to the halfway point. Actually, you'd probably say more like the second, third. Either way, good chunk in, and the flavors have shifted either way. Before that, though, I want to speak about this burn and this ash. The ash is holding on very nicely, very solid. Does not appear to be leaning at all. The burn is a little uneven at certain parts. Again, it might need a touch up, but it's also fixed itself more than once even worse than this so I sincerely hope it happens again the flavor has taken on a toasted caramel mixed with coffee mixed with a very very smooth tobacco so we are 20 minutes in and we've already had three transitions from an original smooth tobacco to a sweetened coffee to a toasted caramel coffee very pleasant so far, I really, really enjoy this cigar. Um, 
These sell for, I believe it was $75 for 10. I got a five pack from the Gurkha Gorge Fest. Same time I got this for a penny. I already posted a review of this cutter. Still enjoy it. Still use it daily for my cigar smoking. So, so far, so good. Very, very pleasant. I will come back just past the second band right there. And then once more at the nub. So thank you for your time, and I shall speak to you shortly. Alright, real quick update. I mentioned before that the ash appeared to be holding on very strong, very nice. The ash is deceptive. I attempted to take off the band because it's getting quite hot and I want to start burning the band. And it fell off. Not in one solid chunk, it hit my lap and it shattered like a bomb and went everywhere. So um, I would definitely try to ash semi regularly. You saw how far it was, it lasts about that long pretty easily. But um, don't push it, this is not a cigar for a longest ash contest or to simply see how far it could go because you'll end up with a huge mess on your lap which I need to clean up now because it's already starting to smell like an ashtray. So uh, yes, I will come back to you at the specified point. Alright, just past the band point. Starting to get a bit hot. Flavor is starting to get a little washed out. Gone from a mild smoke at first to a medium towards the halfway point to almost a full now. Not quite a full, but it is getting there. It wouldn't surprise me by the time it got down to the nub that it's a strength standard full body. As I had stated before, flavors are being washed out. I don't quite taste ash yet, mostly just a semi-harsh tobacco with a very strong pepper in the back of the palate, or the finish. Still enjoyable, just not quite to the same level it was before. Either way, for what it's been so far, still a very good cigar. We are currently at an hour and 14 minutes. By the time it's down to the nub, I estimate about an hour and 30. So, pretty good for the size. This is a 6x60. So, I will come back with one more update at the nub. Alright, down to the nub. Tastes very bad. Drop that in the ashtray. Final updates. While the nub is not the worst I've ever had, it's definitely not enjoyable. The overall smoke, which clocked in at 1 hour and 22 minutes, so a little shy of my actual estimate, but pretty close at the same time, was very good. Had a mixture of a semi-sweet coffee, toasted caramel, smooth tobacco, several transitions, which I personally enjoy in my cigars. Very good smoke. I highly recommend you pick one up. It is worth your time. It is worth your money. I give this cigar a tobacco infused smile. Cheese. Alright, as always, if you like the video, hit like. If not, it is entirely up to you. Thank you so much for your time. I sincerely hope you have a wonderful day on this lovely Christmas Eve morning. So, thank you for your time. Have a good day, whatever you are doing, morning, noon, or night. I sincerely hope you have a wonderful time in doing it. Thank you once again, and... Merry Christmas.